this is Gamer CFC talking here. On the last video, I said I was going to do a review on Sonic the Hedgehog trilogy, and here it is. Um, it's split into three parts, and I did take a while because YouTube's upload video length is ridiculously long. It took a few hours. Um, so this is part one of the part three video, three part video. Sorry. Um, I'm going to go from Sonic One. I'm going to go right through to Sonic Three. Um, now, Sonic the Hedgehog was one of the best known um, franchises in the whole Sega Mega Drive industry. Um, it's released loads of spin-offs, cartoons, um, and, and even their games have been imported onto the PlayStation, the Xbox, the Dreamcast, everything. Sonic the Hedgehog is all over the place. Except Nintendo. Unfortunately. Um, so, I'm going to show you Sonic the Hedgehog 1 first of all and then we'll move up on our way up. So this is Sonic the Hedgehog right here. Okay then here we go. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 1 I'm going to show you first of all. Um, so basically what, what's good about this is um, the fact that it's your basic platformer. Um, you run from point A to point B with your blue hedgehog named Sonic. Um, but what you do in it though, um, it's not basically just run from one end to the other. Um, there's obviously obstacles and there's a bit few traps as well, including spikes, um, pit holes and whatnot. Um, yeah, you have rings to collect. And now if you collect rings, now the rings play a quite a significant role in the game. You collect a ring or two, and um, they can save your life. And what I mean by that is if you run along with a few rings in your in your possession, and if you accidentally run into an enemy, if you've got rings in your possession, your rings will scatter all over the place, giving you an extra chance um, to go collect the rings that you just lost, even if it has a few. But however, if you run into an enemy without any rings, then you'll die instantly. So that's not really something that anyone would like. But, what can you do? Um, now, can I just mention here that this is the most hated part I hate about this game, is the bloody seesaw things. They really annoy you. Like I said earlier, um, it's got a good few obstacles and traps in the game. To give the game a bit of a twist. Um, as you can see here, I've got a invincibility shield thing. Um, it lets me be invincible for a limited amount of time. But anyway, going through that, if you hold the down button when you're going down a hill or something, you'll do a spin dash, um, which is quite useful, the fact that it, um, it accelerates your speed a little bit, makes you go a little bit faster. Um, what I really like about this is the fact that um, it's a good challenge and you can really enjoy something like this if you're into Sonic games. Now I'm going to go into this now, the special stages. Um, what's unique about the special stages is, um, well just look at it, the birds in the background and all that. But what it is basically is like a maze and it spins around in an anti-clockwise or clockwise direction depending on where you press it. Um, you control Sonic in mid-air as he tries to get the that Chaos Emerald in the middle. If you hit that blue and red goal line then it's game over. Um, there's only eight special stages in the whole game as you play through it, and that gives you eight chances to get a Chaos Emerald, so you've got to be quite good at it, like, in order to get them all. Um, I got them all, like, three times in my life, so I didn't really do it that much. But anyway, onto the boss fights. Um, the main boss in the game is named Dr. Robotnik, or in present day, kids nowadays will know him as Dr. Eggman. But enough of his name. Um, it's quite simple. Simple boss fight. All you have to do is um, knock him, knock him on the his vehicle eight times, and when you hit him eight times, that's him um, eliminated, and he'll fly off um, into the next level. And it's basically the same repetitive thing, um, which isn't bad. It's actually like a good challenge. But the first level is quite easy though. But despite the fact I lost a few rings there because I was doing terrible because I wasn't concentrating. Anyway, the game split and uh, each level has got three different acts in it, three stages per, per level. Um, 
at the end of every third stage, obviously, you'll get a boss fight, um, which is a good challenge in the game as well. And here's a spoiler one here, I just want to mention, this is the last fight of the game. This is the last level. Um, so, uh, pause and fast forward if you don't want to watch this. If it might spoil your fun. But I don't think it would spoil that many people's fun. But anyway, on to the next goods. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis. Um, now, this is my personal favourite of all three. The reason being that it's fast and colourful and it holds a good challenge. Um, and the multiplayer system's amazing. Now, this has added a new character to the whole gang. This, his name's Tails. Um, his real name's Miles, but whatever. Um, Tails is um, Sonic's partner slash sidekick slash friend who basically follows him around the game. Um, he can be quite irritating sometimes. Sometimes um, he can look, just be there when you don't want him to and whatnot. Despite the fact he doesn't physically get in your way, but whatever. Um, what's good about the fact... But, sorry. What's good about him being there is the fact that um, he can hit enemies that you've missed and he can collect rings that you've missed. If you've missed a ring or two, he'll collect them for you. Um, by randomness, it'll just, it'll just jump over the ring. It can also be controlled by the second player. But um, it'd be quite hard to catch up with Sonic since Sonic is a bit faster than Tails. And I'll show you later on. Uh, this level is uh, my personal favourite level out of them all. Simply because it's nice and large and it's got loads of shortcuts and obstacles you can overcome. And um, there's loads of routes you can take. Really good. I love it anyway. Um, and as you can see here, I'm making use of the new addition to the game controls called the Super Spin Dash. If you hold the down button and repeatedly press the action button, B, A, B, or C, um, he'll do a super spin dash. And depending on how many times you press it and let go, depends on how fast he'll go. Which is a nice addition to the game if you want to get somewhere fast. Um, I like it anyway. And another good addition to the game is the fact that you can select. If you let, if you prefer the old classic Sonic game from the previous one, you can also you can always select Sonic on his own. But if you want to see what Tails is like, you can also go to the player select and select Tails, which I'm going to do right now. Um, the difference between Tails and Sonic is simple. Tails is a fox with two tails, and Sonic's a hedgehog. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. But what I don't like about Tails, which I kind of a pet hate, is the fact that he's a bit slower than Sonic. I find him really slow. Um, he doesn't go as fast, and he's not... If you, if, if you want to just go as Tails because you're curious, then by all means go. But if you want to get to somewhere fast, if you want to beat a time or try and beat your time record or something like that, then Sonic's your best bet on that speed-wise. Um, but other than that, Tails is really enjoyable to use. Um, so that's basically the theory on Tails, but um, he's alright to use, he's quite fun. But anyway, enough about Tails. I'm going to move over to uh, what the boss fights are like. Now, the boss fight is a lot more different than the first one, obviously. Um, the boss fight's simply, you hit him eight times as normal, and he will be destroyed. But his, um, his machines are a lot more advanced. As you see here, he's driving a big, massive um, car-like machine with a drill at the front. But they also get a lot harder as you progress through the game. This is just the first. Okay, I'm going to the end um, part one of this video, so um, click on the video response to this video and I'll meet you in part two. Alright, catch you after. I'm going to stand out more, which is a good improvement to the whole game. Um, now, I'm going to show you this as well the multiplayer system. Now, the split screen multiplayer is a huge step forward. Now, this is probably my favourite thing about the game. Simply because it's it's basically a nice fun race from point A to point.